Right now, we want to tell you about a very, very interesting story. Very good indeed, because one of our own uh, here in the country, that's Wanjiru Karani, uh, popularly known as Angie, uh, Wanjiru Karani Mbugwa, who is the Secretary General of uh, uh, Tennis Kenya, has, you know, was uh, uh, voted in as the East African President of uh, Zone 4. Uh, very good indeed. And not only was she voted in the President of, uh, uh, you know, East African uh, President for Zone for she was also uh, voted in as the first uh, whom uh, you know the first uh, vice president the second woman first vice president uh, in confederation of african tennis uh, to be elected or voted in as the president of the east african zone four she made history by becoming the first woman to do that uh, we are currently joined by wanjiru online uh, you know, to just let us know how everything, uh, you know, panned out. Wanjiro, good afternoon, Wanji. Good afternoon. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Wanji. Nice to see you. How have you been? Very good, thank you. What about you? Fine, thank you, thank you. Congratulations are in order. Congratulations. Uh, no mean achievement. Congratulations, Wanji. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate that. I know a lot uh, must have been put in. A lot was going through uh, in terms of getting this, uh, you know, uh, vote uh, in. Uh, tell me, what was going through your mind when uh, the counting was done? Were you that confident that you would bug in and become the first woman, uh, you know, to clinch the president, the East African president, a uh, zone four president? What was going through your mind when the voting was, uh, you know, the counting was going on? <laughs> Well, I must say I was, uh, the first one I was, you know, we had two rounds. So the first one was, uh, I was quite anxious because I did not know what, you know, what it would look like. And then we tied for 5-5. Five, five. And uh, then we had to go again for another round of voting because the, uh, at that point there was one spoiled vote. So we had to go again for the second one. So the first one I was quite anxious because, you know, I had no idea to know what my numbers <laughs> looked like. Uh, but to the second one, all of a sudden, I calmed down and I knew, you know, uh, I started having a plan. If I win, this is what I'll do. If I lose, this is what I'll do. I was okay with the outcome. Thank you and congratulations uh, uh, very much. And of course, uh, becoming the second uh, African woman to be voted in as the vice president, uh, you know, Confederation of African Tennis. Congratulations, uh, you know, still keep coming uh, through your way, Angie, Wanji. Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate that. It is. Uh, it was a surprise, actually, that uh, uh, to discover that no woman had ever led East Africa. A cat has been fifty years old, <laughs> and for me to be a woman in fifty years, I mean, that is kind of sad. <laughs> you go into history books, uh, but there's always uh, an inch that makes the mile, and uh, you've made the inch, which means you've opened the door uh, for other women. Uh, how does this make you feel generally? Uh, you know, the first president, the first African woman president, uh, zone four, and of course now being the second uh, uh, woman uh, vice president of uh, you know of 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 cut uh this clearly opens the door for other women to come up uh, and have faith and hope for the future and you know i totally agree with you that is totally true because uh for me uh once upon a time my president was not available to go to the international tennis uh, federation he was running an election here in nairobi oh sorry in in up country somewhere and therefore, I told him, you know what? Let me take your let me take your place and go to um, to ITF. It was all the way in Vietnam. I was very scared, and you know, I didn't know anybody, and it's just <laughs> little me. And anyway, I went. And when I went, I at the plenary sessions, I saw this lady sitting right up there at you know, it's full of. I don't know how to say this politically correct, <laughs> but a lot of white people, a lot of older people, uh, that's what constitutes the ITF uh, General Assembly. Um, so for a black woman to be sitting right up there at the front, and that was Katrina Adams from the US. And when she spoke, I was like, wow, you mean a black woman can do this? Even me, I'm going to do this. So anyway, so I was inspired by another black woman sitting up there and I hope that in doing this, 
that uh, I will also open doors uh, and inspire other women to do the same. Wanji Lupita Nyongo says your dreams are valid and for sure they've come, uh, you know, to pass. Uh, and now, Wanji, they always say that uh, what a man can do, a woman can do better. You're now at the helm of, uh, you know, uh, East African Zone 4. What can we expect, uh, you know, uh, from you and uh, your team now in terms of uh, taking it to the next level? So, Zone 4 is very lucky to have me because I have such big dreams for our region. I have, over the years, I've actually been slowly just bringing together everybody. Um, Tennis Kenya is always a little ahead in terms of finding out opportunities that are, that are available to us, either from ITF or from CAT. So I've already started playing this role of just getting everybody and asking them, have you done your digitization? Have you applied for this tournament? It is possible to run this tournament. This is how we do the budget. So this is what I've been doing um, the last maybe two years or so. So for me now, it's because I have the full permission now to, to, to implement all the dreams I had for Zone 4. Some of them include things like having uh, uh, training camps for top players in the region. So every so often, maybe every holiday, uh, we can start having camps where we bring the best from Burundi, the best from Eritrea, the best from, you know, Sudan and Djibouti and Comoros, Seychelles, and bring them to one place with top coaches where they are able to improve their, their skill. Some people are not as lucky as Kenya to have some very um, uh, skilled coaches, uh, but Kenya, we have like three or four level ITF level three coaches. So we can actually start just sharing knowledge amongst ourselves and just making sure that, you know, we learn from each other. Oh, Wanji, I mean, well put there in terms of delivery and uh, in terms of uh, bringing, uh, you know, the best uh, players around. Uh, I was about to, you know, to just uh, have a rejoined on the same uh, by asking, we have the best, the Ismail Changawas, the Kibets, uh, uh, not forgetting Angela Okutoi. How do we build from here to get more uh, of the, Chebe, you know, the Kibets, the Changawas, the Okutois? Yeah, it's it's actually, um, we do. So this is the thing with the East African region. We have so much talent, but we've only been able to, to get an Sada Nahimana from Burundi here and, of course, our very own Angela Okutoi. But I believe that where these guys came from, there are like 50 others. So my dream is to be able to help countries in this region improve their participation, improve their performance training that every time we hold one of these international events whereas right now uh, international events are attracting about 15 percent of east african countries participating now we want to turn it the other way around so that we have 85 percent from the region and then the 15 percent are the guys who come from europe asia uh, america to just to come and look, looking for points when we hold this tournament we hold them because we believe our players uh, need these tournaments back home to be able to get this ranking point. But what has been happening is we get a lot of visitors and fewer um, uh, players from the region. So I'm hoping to turn that around to make sure that there are more players from the region than the ones that come. Wanji, uh, I'm personally not in doubt of your, uh, you know, uh, of your abilities to deliver this. Uh, looking at how you've uh, worked through at uh, Tennis Kenya, the latest being the Billie Jean, uh, you know, uh, tennis uh, that uh, you delivered, uh, uh, not just delivered, but exceptionally delivered with lots of expectations and uh, uh, well done for the same. Wishing you all the best and uh, hoping that we can catch up at uh, the club, you know where, and have more discussions discussions over the same yes of course <laughs> thank you so much Thanks. awanji congratulations wishing you all the best we'll be keeping an eye on happenings around uh, both uh, positions so that we let kenyans know what's happening and of course uh, we'll be looking at uh, how uh, you know to ensure that uh, different stakeholders come together in terms of supporting uh, your presidency and supporting the different positions that you hold uh, to make it a success all the best wanji 
Thank you so much. I really appreciate all your good wishes, all the love, the encouragement, the support. Asante Sana. I will not let you down. Thank you. Count on that. Thank you so, so much. Thank you so much. We appreciate you also making time to be with us this afternoon. Asante. Thank you so much. That, go ahead. Sorry, uh, that has been uh, Wanji Karani Mbugwa, the Tennis uh, Kenya Secretary General, uh, who was uh, voted in the first woman president uh, of, uh, uh, you know, Eastern African uh, President uh, Zone 4, and also the second uh, uh, woman to be voted, African woman to be voted in as the Vice President of Confederation of African uh, Tennis. Uh, no mean achievement. A lot now lies uh, on her desk in terms of moving zone four to the next level and of course uh, bringing up lots uh, in terms of delivering uh, the uh, you know the dreams that they had uh, from uh, an african or a continental perspective we are wishing her all the best and we'll also be keeping an eye on her promises to ensure that she delivers uh, as promised uh, the one year i know delivery is not a question all she needs is the support uh, and she will uh, deliver congratulations are in order for one g uh, for that uh.